Okay. We are officially in the end game of this series. Um, I'm intrigued, man. I'm intrigued, right? You already know how much I'm loving Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood right now. I'm loving it because um, the coup is going on, you know, and is that a, it's cool against the bad guys, <laughs> you know. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they're going to do to close out this series. We're in the end game for sure. We got Al um, trapped with. Well, not really trapped with him. It's kind of was his plan to be trapped in there with pride so they can take pride out of the picture. But I think pride is sending father a message, maybe through Morse code or through he knows that father could hear the clinking on the helmet. I think that has going to play a significant role in father getting into the action. You know what I'm saying? Because he's kind of relaxed right now. Just watching, you know, central being taken over. I think he's going to come out and just start killing people. I don't know what he's going to do, but it seems like he's ready for something. Okay, so, you know, it was good to see, you know, Ross and um, Havoc coming back. That was pretty cool to see them come back. I like that very much. Um, you know, other people that came by, you know, Hawkeye, all these characters that are really putting in the work right now to get the job done. And I feel like, Oh boy, the Fuhrer, he's going to show up. I just have this strange feeling that he's going to show up. And as I said before, if they just kill off Bradley like that, that is not going to sit well with me going forward and giving the, this, the, the, this series a rating. It's not going to sit well. It's going to lose points for me because you don't just do that to a character like that. You know what I'm saying? That cat, King Bradley has been one of the most developed characters in the series and you just snap a finger and kill him. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. So I don't feel like he's dead. I think maybe he needs time to recover because he did get hit. No doubt that explosion affected him some way, somehow. So I don't know because he's not a full homunculus. So it could have affected him way longer than, say, a, a, um, you know, a greed or a you know, a lust or, a, you know, um, gluttony. It could have affected him differently. We don't know. So we're going to get to see. It was kind of heartfelt, too, to hear Pride talk about his mom. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, 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 that was kind of cool to hear him talk like that, like he was an actual kid. You know what I'm saying? When he's literally older than that woman. <laughs> you know, um, he was like the first part that father separated from himself so we get to see anyways guys let's jump in and i will see you guys for the review all right so that was episode 51 and 52 full metal alchemist brotherhood and wow wow we we're obviously in the end game of what of the series they're you know they're doing their best to wrap wrap up everything right that is going on currently they're trying to wrap up everything and and, and i really do understand where where to see where they're going or um where they're going to end up i was kind of surprised that pride got out I didn't think they were going to go straight to pride. It's more of like, I thought it was probably going to be a message telling them, Hey, you know, I'm trapped. They're coming. You know what I'm saying? I didn't think they were going to send someone out there. Kimberly is done. He is done. I don't know what is going to happen between Kimberly and pride. Now it seems like pride is going to consume Kim Kimberly. So I don't know what's going to happen on that end. I can't even guess. Maybe he's going to take over. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, as I said before, um, this probably is the, the final opening, right? It, it's not 
it's not good <laughs> i don't like it i don't like this opening at all that's why i skipped it on the second episode because i was like i'm not gonna listen to this again it's it's not great <laughs> they could have done way better they 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 hit it out of the park with the first and i think the the third one i really like i really like the third one the one that was before this one so um when it comes on to weird and weird you know things that are happening everybody's fighting right now everybody's fighting right now so i think the best fight out of this whole thing was um major and general armstrong versus sloth i think that was the very best fight that we've seen um i think it's better than the alphonse versus kimberly and um pride fight i really i really do like the fact that two of them as brother and sister going up against slot that was pretty cool to see them working together because they're always like at each other's throat i mean we all know major armstrong is always trying to be nice to her but she's always just like dogging him and as the older sister or is she is she older is she the older sister or she's the little sister i don't know but in any case their dynamic is really good on screen I, I like it very much because it represents exactly how sibling rivalry is that is sibling rivalry at its best a little bit a little toxic but <laughs> you know what i'm saying a little toxic but at the same time it works it's exactly how siblings are with each with each other especially when it comes on to inheritance and stuff like that it get it can get really bad but it's but to them i think genuinely they love each other she just thinks he's weak <laughs> and for he for her to think that her brother major armstrong for her to think that about him and to think he's weak it speaks volumes about about him even though we as the audience don't think that major armstrong is weak because he has i think it's because he have that softer softer side to him i think that's the reason why she kind of considers him kind of weak because he's like you know what I'm saying? He's really like a, 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 a lovey-dovey. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he tries to be kind of like friends with everybody. You know what I'm saying? He's a more wholesome person. He has more a more wholesome personality than her. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, I think she's the little sister. If I'm not mistaken. I think she's a little sister. And... There's nothing wrong with that, man. I love their relationship. You can see that she was kind of surprised that he actually saved her. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, at almost costing him his own life. But, you know what I'm saying? Don't sleep on, on Major Armstrong, man. Dude, you know what I'm saying? He, can, he packs a punch. Because, you know what I'm saying? He is a state alchemist. So, it's like, for him... You know what I'm saying? I don't think he used that punch he came in with when he hit slot. Because to to put in perspective of how strong Major Armstrong is, right? Put in perspective. Bullets cannot hurt this nigga. Bullets cannot hurt slot, right? He's tanking. Tank freaking. I don't know if you call it tank. What do you call it tank? What do you call it? Tank ballistics? whatever you call them them big ass thing that they gotta load into tanks slot was just tanking them like it's nothing they don't explode they just bounce off of him like you know what i'm saying so for him to come in for major armstrong to come in and hit slot and push him back let him roll back you know what i'm saying skip like stone and water like it shows you how how strong he really is with even he didn't even hit him with any alchemy because his alchemy works in a certain way that i don't think it it gives him like his alchemy doesn't enhance his physical strength that's what i should say it doesn't enhance his physical strength um i don't know what kind of alchemy he uses like in different but i think most of the alchemy that i've seen in the show is more of to create stuff from materials equivalence exchange and all, all this stuff right it's usually like that but then you have people who specializes in certain alchemy like you know what i'm saying like um kimberly and and mustang and um and i mean 
we met i think we met a water alchemist like earlier in the series like i think we did so in any case these two episodes were really good i really enjoyed them they did a very good job of the fights the animations was was pretty cool um you know what i'm saying we got old girl fighting in the tunnel against envy you know what i'm saying envy is is back he's getting stronger because he's absorbing all of these um drones basically human drones or whatever you want to call them so he's absorbing all of that and i think he's gonna keep getting stronger and stronger uh, but i have faith in this little girl because the thing about it is that she's not she's she's older than she looks she's older than she looks she can fight you get what i'm saying but i don't think she's gonna be able to take out envy though um so now that we have mustang show up to give a hand um against these um human drones or whatever these philosopher stone built niggas <laughs> you know we can go and just you know it, it's yet to be seen because i think I think what's going to happen, I think Hohenheim is going to face up against Father. I think that's, I think that is definitely going to happen. I think I want to see it. I want to see that fight. I want to see Father versus Hohenheim. That's going to be the fight I want to see. Um, he's out. He's out. So let's see what happens, man. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Can't wait to watch the next episodes, man. Hopefully, you guys are staying tuned with everything that we're doing here appreciate y'all and i will catch you guys later peace don't forget to like the video though